Good evening fellows, welcome to today's video. Uh, one of the subscribers, Mr. Chisels, asked me how I connect Behringer X Touch to a DAW. So do I connect it via USB or via MIDI? Um, I just took a little bit of my time and uh, decided to make this video and uh, I hope this video helps to uh, any one of you if you have similar problems with connecting uh, Behringer X Touch and the extender with uh, your DAW. So uh, I will turn the camera and uh, let's go. I will just turn it off. Okay, here we have Reaper DAW already uh, powered on. And now let's focus on our X-Touch units, X-Touch and uh, X-Touch controller. So there are one thing that you have to do even before starting your DAW. And that is you have to select the mode that you want to be... Uh, your Behringer X Touch is working on. So there are two modes. Um, it's Mac mode and it's Huey mode, and we have X Control mode. So yeah, basically there are three modes that Behringer X Touch can work in. So we have to use the correct mode. How do I choose this mode? Well, it is simple. I press select button and power on button which is uh, behind here so i will once again i will hold select button and i will now press the power on button and we can see that uh, our behringer has uh, powered on let's see what we have on this screen it says mode mc Okay, mode MC, but what happens if I turn this knob? You get Huey mode available and X control. Let me quickly explain. First mode, Mackie mode, is the mode that some of the DOS are using. So, for example, if you are using Reaper, then for sure you will have to use this Mackie mode. If you are using Cubase, you will also have to use Mackie mode because Cubase is also working in Mackie mode. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, there are a few more DOS that use Mackie mode, but there are also some DOS that are using Huey mode. And uh, I think that uh, Logic Pro and Pro Tools are using Huey mode, so if you're using Logic Pro or Pro Tools, you will have to set your uh, X-Touch controller to Huey mode. And then we have X-Control mode, that mode uh, is for controlling your Behringer X32 console. So if you want to control, for example, uh, Behringer X32 rack with uh, this uh, knobs and faders you will set your controller to X control mode so let me just show you uh, I have I use Behringer X32 and as you can see this guy has no faders so I can control it with with uh, with X Touch, and if I want if I want to that to do that, I will just set it to X Control mode, and then we have X Control plus Mackey. That means that I can uh, use this mode for controlling simultaneously um, my Behringer X thirty two and, for example, my Reaper DAW. I just switch the modes. Uh, here with this so if I press this button then I am able to 
control Reaper. And if I press this button, that then I am controlling my Be uh, Behringer X32. And the same, uh, and the same mode X control plus Huey is for controlling simultaneously Behringer X32 and let's say Pro Tools. But since I am using a Reaper and this tutorial is uh, about Reaper, we will set it to Mackie mode. We have to set it to Mackie mode. And if we move um, to the right, we have another screen which uh, selects our connection, how we want to connect it with computer. So we have three modes. We have USB mode, MIDI mode, and network mode. Of course, we can uh, control our, um, for example, either Behringer X32 or our DAW, we can uh, control it through the through router, that is network. We can control it via the MIDI cable or we can control it via the USB cable. Uh, I think most of us is um, using USB mode because we, or at least I, have connected uh, these two guys, uh, Behringer X-Touch and X-Touch controller, I have connected them with USB cables. And these USB cables are going to computer. So one uh, MIDI in is going directly into computer and MIDI out is going to Behringer extender. So once again to confirm it, yes, I I am connected. I am um, using the USB cables for the connection, and that's why I will set USB connection here. So once again, Mac emote and USB connection, and I confirm it by pressing select button. You can hear the beep, and that means the controllers are recognized by uh, our computer. So friends, I hope you learned something uh, and uh, I hope I uh, spare you some time with uh, showing you this little trick. And uh, yeah, please um, subscribe and like uh, and uh, watch my channel and uh, Stay healthy. Thank you.